Dinosaurs were a group of reptiles that lived millions of years ago during the Mesozoic era, which lasted from about 252 to 66 million years ago. They are thought to have evolved from reptiles mostly like dog and horse size that lived during the Triassic period, about 252 million years ago. When dinosaurs first appeared in the Triassic period, 251.9 million to 201.3 million years ago, they roamed the supercontinent of Pangaea. Dinosaurs are classified into two main groups, saurischians, which includes theropods, such as T. rex, and sauropodomorphs, such as diplodocus, and ornithischians, which includes groups such as ceratopsians, such as triceratops, and hadrosaurs, such as edmontosaurus. Some meat-eating dinosaurs shrank over time and evolved into birds. So, in that sense, only the non-avian dinosaurs went extinct. For the purposes of this article, dinosaurs will refer to non-avian dinosaurs, unless otherwise stated. The first known dinosaur fossil was discovered in the late 18th century by a British naturalist named William Buckland. However, it was not until the early 19th century that the scientific community began to recognize that dinosaurs were a distinct group of reptiles that lived millions of years ago. This realization was largely due to the work of two British scientists, William Coneybear and William Phillips, who described several new species of dinosaurs based on fossil specimens found in England. Dinosaur fossils are the remains of dinosaurs that have been preserved in rock formations. Dinosaur fossils can be found all over the world, and they provide scientists with valuable information about the appearance, behavior, and evolutionary history of these ancient creatures. When a dinosaur dies, its body may be buried in sediment and, if conditions are right, the bones may be preserved as fossils. They have also provided insight into the ancient environments in which dinosaurs lived, as well as the various ecological and geological processes that shaped the earth. Scientists use these fossils to reconstruct the appearance and behavior of dinosaurs, and to understand how they interacted with their environment and other organisms. Types of Dinosaurs There were many different types of dinosaurs, ranging in size from small, feathered creatures that were less than a meter long to massive, long-necked herbivores that were more than 100 feet long. Some dinosaurs were herbivorous, feeding on plants, while others were carnivorous, preying on other animals. Sauropodomorphs. Sauropodomorphs were a group of long-necked, herbivorous dinosaurs that lived during the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. They were some of the largest animals to have ever lived, with some species reaching up to 100 feet in length and weighing tens of tons. Sauropodomorphs had long, slender bodies and legs, and most species had small heads relative to their size. Some well-known sauropodomorphs include Diplodocus, Brachiosaurus, and Apatosaurus, formerly known as Brontosaurus. These dinosaurs likely used their long necks to reach high into trees to feed on leaves and branches. Theropods. Theropods were a group of carnivorous dinosaurs that lived during the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. They were diverse in size and shape, with some species being small, feathered creatures and others being large, formidable predators. Some well-known theropods include Tyrannosaurus rex, Velociraptor, and Allosaurus. These dinosaurs had sharp teeth and powerful jaws, and they likely hunted other dinosaurs and other animals for food. Ceratopsians. Ceratopsians were a group of herbivorous dinosaurs that lived during the Cretaceous period. They were characterized by their distinctive frills and horns, which were likely used for display or defense. Some well-known ceratopsians include Triceratops, Styracosaurus, and Pachyrhinosaurus. These dinosaurs likely used their beaks and cheek teeth to grind up tough plant material, and they may have lived in herds for protection from predators. Hadrosaurs. Hadrosaurs, also known as duck-billed dinosaurs, were a group of herbivorous dinosaurs that lived during the Cretaceous period. They were characterized by their distinctive crests on their heads, which were likely used for display or to produce vocalizations. Some well-known hadrosaurs include Edmontosaurus, Myasaura, and Anatosaurus. These dinosaurs likely used their beaks and cheek teeth to grind up tough plant material, and they may have lived in herds for protection from predators. Extinction of Dinosaurs Dinosaurs became extinct about 66 million years ago, at the end of the Cretaceous period. In the aftermath of the asteroid collision, long-term pain followed chaos. The collision caused massive destruction, including a shockwave, heat pulse, wildfires, tsunamis, including an immediate mile-high tsunami, volcanic eruptions, lethal acid rain and earthquakes. Dust and grime that the asteroid kicked up hovered in the air. 
This rain of hot dust raised global temperatures for hours after the impact and cooked alive animals that were too large to seek shelter, small animals that could shelter underground, underwater, or perhaps in caves or large tree trunks, may have been able to survive this initial heat blast. The dust and particles remained in the air, blocking the sun for several years afterward and causing a nuclear winter that cooled the planet and led to the deaths of countless plants and animals. Smaller, omnivorous terrestrial animals, like mammals, lizards, turtles, or birds, may have been able to survive as scavengers feeding on the carcasses of dead dinosaurs, fungi, roots and decaying plant matter, while smaller animals with lower metabolisms were best able to wait the disaster out. Moreover, the asteroid also pulverized carbon-rich rocks, which released carbon into the atmosphere and led to global warming for a few thousand years, after the nuclear winter ended. Scientists used to wonder if the Deccan Trap's volcanic eruptions in what is now India played a role in the mass extinction. But recent studies show that the Deccan probably had very little. It was most likely an innocent bystander, the asteroid is what caused the extinction.